welcome back to our channel. What's if you're happening? new here, my name is Letty and this is Chava. <laughs> and we own an online home based bakery called Serrano's Cakes. And yeah, today Chava's gonna be showing us how to make a, a fault line cake. Yay! <laughs> so if you guys would like to learn how to make that, then please keep on watching. And I know we haven't made a, a cake video in a long time. This is super exciting to be making a cake video finally. Yeah. I've been so, wanting to make this cake for a while now. Because I know a lot of people, like, they ask, like, how do you make it, you know? So, hopefully, whoever watches it, makes it. You guys are going to learn from the best right now. That's right. But, yeah, guys, so I'm super excited. And, yeah, so. Get it. All right. All right, so we have two 10 inches marble cake. You could use this big old knife. If not, your leveler. Whatever's, whatever you have. So, I'm, I try to cut off the, the least amount possible. So, that way, they could get a lot of cake, you know? So, just try not to cut too much. Unless you want short cakes. Alright, so we got our buttercream. So what I'm gonna do right now is put buttercream on the board. Bam. Make sure it's in the center. Then we're gonna secure our edges. Y'all know the vibes. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, always secure your edges. I say this in every video that I make a cake on. So we have our whip. Amigo, I'm going to go to Oh, that's what's doing? <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was my wheel. I was like, man, my wheel's getting old. How disgusting could he be? He's not wearing gloves and in, in, in a global pandemic. <laughs> it's like if you just stuck your hand in the toilet right now and like took it yeah, out. Yeah, we... <laughs> <laughs> that ass, that's how they make it seem. Huh? Yeah, like bro, you just wash their hands. My hands are dry as, as fuck from freaking washing them all the time. All right, guys. So that's the filling right there. Strawberries, is it? So it's whipped with strawberries. Okay. Honestly, you guys, I don't like strawberries on my filling at all. I don't like fruit on my. Yeah, filling. ever since I was little, they traumatized me with that. Yeah, hell yeah. So like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So now that we have our filling. So we try not to overdo it on the strawberries, cause. Unless you guys say extra strawberries and. We'll put a lot of strawberries, you know? Yeah, but other than that, we know how it feels not to like strawberries, so... Alright, so we're gonna add our next one. So make sure it's level. We're just gonna make it straight. Spatula. Alright, cool. We're gonna throw it in the freezer for a couple minutes so it can get hard. And then we're gonna give it the first coat, okay? Alright, so now we have our cake. It's been in the fridge for a while. See? Cool? Alright, so anytime you put it, if the cake's buttercream, always um, clean the board before you add the buttercream because then you you get crumbs and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? Can it be fault line without with fondant? Um, I'm I don't sure think could, I've seen that. I'm sure you could do it, but. Yeah, you could do it, but it's just going to be hard, you know, because you have to like only cover a little bit and then cut it out and then the bottom do like a little piece too, you know, but I mean, fuck all that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> let's just stick to buttercream. That's a whole other story. That's a whole video. <laughs> all right, so make sure it's centered. See how it's centered? So we're going to do white buttercream first, okay? So we have our white buttercream right here. What we want to do is only cover this, the side. Like, we don't have to cover the top. But if you if you want to, you can do it. But just give it a thin layer, you know, on All top. Right. Just so you won't waste too much working. Because you're still gonna put the black one on top, you know? Okay. 
like I said, you could just put a thin layer on top. Don't put too much, you know what I'm saying? Because you're still going to put the black one on top. Right, so we're going to use this smoother. All right, so once it's all smoothed it out, you see how it's, it's showing a little bit on top? So mm -hmm. that doesn't matter, okay? Because you're going to put edible images all around, okay? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you're going to put edible images all around on the white buttercream. And then you're going to add the black buttercream after, okay? So I'm going to start adding them right now so we actually see. All right, so we have our images right here. I have a couple of them. I think it's only like 16 of them or 12. So we're just gonna add a wall, okay? So since he's adding it on the white buttercream, he doesn't have to add a fondant under it? Yeah, you don't. If you want it, you could, but I mean, it's just a waste of fondant, you know? Yeah, and the image paper that we have for this one is the thicker one. Yeah, it's pretty thick, so. So, it's gonna look like good. My cake is five inches tall, you know? So, if you could, if you do the images, that the images are about over two inches. That way you could have like a little space, not a huge space, you know what I'm saying? Okay. All right, so we're gonna add the images, okay? Yeah, oh, okay, cool. And obviously, just try and get uh, it would just to go all around it, okay? Does it have to be super straight? No, it doesn't have to be super straight because what you're going to do is still you're going to... Um, cover some of it, right? Yeah, you're still going to cover some of it, so it doesn't matter. And mm -hmm. as for this this one, the, the person wanted the images to be black and white, so... Alright, so I already added all the images. So now I'm cleaning the board. So what I'm going to do right after this is... Put it in the freezer so that it could chill in there and let it get hard. Once it gets hard, I'm gonna add the, the second coat, you know, which is the first coat of the black one. All right? Okay. Perfect. Once it's already out of the freezer, you guys could give it the first hand with the black. And this this is the, the important part. You're gonna give it like at the bottom first. So watch. Give it kind of thick. Not too thick, but just, you know. And once you're up to this, you can go like a little up and down, but not too high, you know? So you kind of want it to like, like kind of, you don't want it to look too like straight, you get me? You don't want it to look too straight. You want it to be kind of like off. And all right, so this is very critical too. You're gonna have to do the top the same thickness as the bottom with the with the buttercream, okay? Oh dang. Because if not, it's not gonna be straight. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that that one too, you don't have to do it too straight. You want you want it to be like kinda off, you know? So just go up and down ish. Alright, so like I said, just make Make sure it's like the same thickness as the bottom, so that way when you um, when you flatten it or when you smooth your cake, you can smooth both top and the bottom, not just the top and not just the bottom, you know. So, asegúrense que estén como de la misma grosura los um, la línea de abajo y la línea de arriba para cuando lo alisen el pastel eh, quede igual. Para que no nomás estén alisando nomás de abajo o nomás de arriba. So, el que esté más, más grueso va a estar, you know, uh -huh. se va a alisar más que el otro. So, asegúrate que esté, me, me, like, más o menos igual. Y arriba nomás le pones un, el grosor que tú quieras, you know. Pero como les dije, no, cuando le pones la blanca, no lo tienen que poner tan grueso porque le vas a poner otra, uno en el negro. Y tal. Ok. And now we're going to smooth it with the smoother. Alright, so we're going to smooth it. Here's the smoother metal one and like I said just you know try and smooth it don't don't press it all the way in because if you press it all the way in you're gonna just smash it and you're gonna pretty much get a lot on on the pictures you know so try and do it little by little little by little so that way it could you know so here it goes so little by little like I said that way you don't smash it too much and if you think that it needs more 
add more, you know? Yeah. So if it needs more on top, put some more on top. If you need needs more at the bottom, put more. So I feel like I need a little bit more right here. So I'm add some more, okay? See, that, that's a cool part that you can still fix it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And like a big um, what do you call it? A tip is hold your your spatula like this, straight, and then not not tilt it. Cause if you tilt it, you're you're smashing the buttercream in. Oh, okay. And it's going more in, you know. So yeah. you're just making the buttercream go in. And if you're doing it like this, you're scraping it off. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So it doesn't have to be too straight, but just enough to where you're scraping you're scraping buttercream off and not pushing it. So cute. That's crazy, you can already see the... The looking nice? Yeah. And what's cool is that you can make the images like smaller. Yeah, you can make them smaller, bigger. Like... So it all depends how you want it. Such a unique little cake. So then after that, you just smooth the top. And you could give it two coats, or you could give it one coat, however you think, you know? But I like to give it two coats. At least the top and the, like, at least the top, you know, so it could be, like, super straight. So after that, you can give it a second coat, or like I said, you could just do it like that. But I'm going to give it a second coat. Just put it in the freezer for a couple minutes again, and you'll be good. All right, so the cake is hard already. What we're gonna do is give it a second, uh, second coat. Like I said, you don't have to give it to the bottom. I, I just, I just want to do it on top so it can be like uh, real sharp, you know. Nice. So that's pretty much it. You see that? Yeah. Looks good? Super easy, guys. Super clean. Look at that. And then after that, just clean the board, and then we're going to give it like some splash to the board, okay? What, we, what we're going to do now is um, I mix some gold, and now we're going to paint the edges. And you can paint the top and the bottom, or you can just paint the bottom or just the top. Oh, my God. It looks so good. It's like the gold makes it, you know? Hell, yeah. The outline makes it. It's so cute. All right, so there. See that? Yeah. That's cool. Now what we're gonna do? We're gonna splatter it. All right. So to splatter it, so you grab some, so kind of like dab it, so you can take off the excess, and then you flick it like. Oh, that's all over the wall, homie. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah, missed the cake. <laughs> You'll make a mess, but trust me, it looks real nice. Oh, there it is. See how splattered it looks? Yeah, that's beautiful. And now we're going to put the topper. All right, so here's our topper. All right, so we're going to put the... Cool? Yes, look at that, you guys. Like it? Jose is 24. Looks perfect, good, I like it. And we got the topper from... Uh, yeah, makes by Brie, no? Well, mixed by Brissy. Brissy. <laughs> and um, she actually, well, I'll put her, her name down below. If you guys want to contact her for any cake toppers, if you're around the area, she delivers. And she also made that little, like, um, frame for us. Yeah, that's right. Oh, dang, I got gold all over. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. And all over the wall. You guys see that? Oh, dang, dang. All right, guys, so that's the finished look. Super fancy, beautiful, easy to make. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give us a big thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and comment down below what you thought about this video. Now, um, the giveaway winner will be on the next clip. Yes. Make sure you go ahead and DM me at Forever Letty or DM the cake page um, for your KitchenAid mixer. 
and congrats. Congrats, guys. Thank you for everybody who entered. Unfortunately, a lot of people got disqualified because the rules were not followed. Um, and it, wasn't, um, it was kind of unfair to others if we let everyone enter. But we really appreciate everybody who entered. And don't worry, there's going to be more where that came from. 75K, we're going to do another small giveaway. Yes, for sure. And then 100K will be a huge one. Hell yeah. <laughs> so yeah guys, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in our next one.